Right, so as we've got a harness here that we've been doing testing, so you'll see that video in a minute. We have another customer who wants a remap, so I thought I'd go through and do a video of the remaps and what's required on your guy's side when we just remap the ECUs for you, just to help you out. So let's get into it. Right, so as discussed, this is gonna be a little video to show you what to do if you guys just get a remapped ECU from us. In other words, you're not buying it with a complete harness and a package over there. In this case, this customer, James, is just having that done. Um, he's having an engine swap, so obviously we removed the immobilizer. We've also mapped it for a manual. So in other words, all the automatic gearbox codes are gone. So we're gonna obviously fire this up on this harness to show you that that has happened, basically. Um, but yeah, so I want to do the video to show you guys what else you need to do on your side when you get this. Now, obviously, everything else needs to be wired up exactly as per the diagrams. So do make sure that you understand all the diagrams, that you've got access to them and you can do it all properly. The only thing that's weird on this, well, not weird, but what you have to do, especially when it's a manual map, is you have to provide two with 12 volts. Okay, so two, what I mean by that is there's a wire that tells the ECU that it's in second gear that would normally come from the selector. That wire needs 12 volts, so make sure you provide that with 12 volts. Otherwise, everything else needs to be wired up exactly as it is, and exactly like you'll see on this harness here, once you're wired up, you should have zero codes. Absolutely nothing on there. So that'll tell you that everything is correct. So what I'm gonna do now is obviously we've got the ECU here. It's a GS430 2000 to 2005. We've mapped it for a manual. You can see the harness here has got absolutely no automatic gearbox harness whatsoever on it, so it's completely manual. There's no connections to the auto at all, so you can see in that little plug there's hardly any wires in there where all the auto stuff usually goes. So what I'm gonna do now is we're gonna fire it up. That's gonna tell me that the immobilizer's removed. We're then gonna come over here and we're gonna see we've got absolutely no codes for it whatsoever. So give me a second while I quickly put the ignition on. Okay, so there you go, you can see we've got check engine light, check engine light. I'm gonna quickly fire it up. We've got check engine light, that's now turned off. You can see that obviously it started, so we don't have any immobilizer on there at all. We're then gonna go over to trouble codes. And you can see we've got absolutely zero trouble codes at all. Not even in pending. Okay, back to data list so you can see it is live and reading. Okay. Okay, so. As discussed, if you get an ECU just remap for us and you don't opt for a harness and it is for a manual, you should have zero codes at all. If you've got any codes, there's a problem, something is wrong with the wiring, you need to sort it out. So you need to make sure you have access to the diagrams to make sure that everything is connected up as it is. The only thing that you need to do that is out of the ordinary from the standard wiring is literally obviously remove all the automatic gearbox codes and connect two to 12 volts. If we've wired it, if we've remapped it for you for a standard vehicle, obviously, that's very straightforward. You basically just plug it in to the car and off you go as per usual because you probably won't remove the immobilizer if we're just remapping for a standard car. But if we are doing this one, you need to remove all of the um, all of the immobilizer wires as well out of the system. So immobilizer wires, all your automatic gearbox wires, and obviously connect two to 12 volts, and that's for a manual, for an auto. Obviously, you'd wire absolutely everything up but then you would remove all of the immobilizer wires because we've removed the immobilizer from the system entirely. And obviously if we're remapping for a standard vehicle, you would then effectively just plug it in. It wouldn't be anything major, just plug it straight in. In that case, we'd probably not have removed the immobilizer, so nothing to do in relation to that at all. All right, so hopefully that's helpful because obviously we do we are doing a few of these now where we're not doing it with the entire harness. We are just doing the remap on there. So I thought I'd do a video just to tell you guys what you need to do on your side when you get everything to make sure everything is working as it should. All right, so hope it's been helpful. Thanks for watching. If you guys have any questions, as per usual, comment down below, get us on our Facebook page and we'll answer any questions that you do have from there. All right, but thanks for watching guys and we'll see you again later. Bye-bye.